This is a nicotine inhalator. It's not to be confused with an e-cigarette or vaping device. This does not produce any vapors and the nicotine is not heated. It's just a white tube made of plastic and it contains a cartridge filled with nicotine. So using an inhalator is very different to smoking a cigarette. It's not inhaled into the lungs. The nicotine is sucked in or short drags through the mouthpiece of the device and just into the mouth where the nicotine is absorbed through the lining of the mouth, goes through into the bloodstream and then goes into the brain. So it's definitely a lot slower than a cigarette for delivering nicotine into the body. Some smokers do find that a bit frustrating because they're still repeating the hand-to-mouth action of smoking, but they're not getting the same immediate response. The advantage of the inhalator though, is that it does help compensate and mimic that hand-to-mouth action, which a lot of smokers miss when they're not using a cigarette anymore. To get your inhalator ready for use, you need to take a cartridge from the foil packet. These are, should be protected from light and heat, so keep them in the foil and don't leave them out in the daylight. Take a cartridge from the packet. You can see it has two foil ends, they are both the same. It doesn't matter which end goes in first. The inhalator has two raised markings which are, you line up to open the inhalator or twist and move apart in order to lock it. So we will open the inhalator, place the foil end, either end into the smaller part of the inhalator and press it down until the foil locks, uh, until the foil breaks. Uh, some people find this really difficult if they're not able to press down on both ends at the same time. So you can actually just bust both of them and then when you close it up it's nice and easy to just line up the markings push it together and then lock it and now that's ready for use. To get the nicotine from the cartridge up to your brain you need to suck really slow, uh, slowly using um, the mouthpiece it's best to use about 10 small sucks just into the mouth. Now, sucking on the device, um, you can get about 20 minutes out of each cartridge and that's roughly equivalent to about seven cigarettes. So the way that you would do it is by doing this. Now, it's best to keep your mouth closed afterwards to allow the nicotine to absorb in. When you first put a cartridge in, it can taste a little plasticky, but that does go away as you continue to use your cartridge. Now you'll know after that 20 minutes that there's no taste remaining and the nicotine's fully used up and it's time to pop a new cartridge in. So make sure you've always got a fresh cartridge in there. And um, some people need at least six cartridges a day, that's fine. If you've got a craving, you must use your product and use it regularly through the day and about 20 minutes or so before you think you might expect to encounter a trigger that's likely to make you want to smoke. With the other oral products, um, the nicotine doesn't absorb well if you've got coffee um, or tea or soft drink in your mouth beforehand, so don't have any of those for about 15 minutes before using your inhalator. Um, you can have a drink of water afterwards, that's no problem. Now heat does affect the way that the nicotine's absorbed into your mouth, so if it's a really hot day, you might find you'll get more nicotine coming out of the inhaler. On really cold temperature days, you'll actually get less nicotine and it works best um, in temperatures above 15 degrees. So it's a really good idea not to leave your inhaler in the car or leave your cartridges in the car. Just keep them at a at standard room temperature and they'll work best all the time.